Hello there. Welcome to a new day. Good morning. Good morning. I am Rachel Archelaus. Thanks for coming to the Daily Alignment Show. Today we are wrapping up Abundance Week. I don't know what our higher selves have in store for us. So let's pull out the old Intuitive Art Oracle deck and see what the message is for today. So as usual, I'm just going to shuffle these and I will say you can find these below the video if you'd like to get your own deck. I'm super intrigued about today. What are we even asking today? It's, it's open rain. Open rain. Open question? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. It's so funny. I'm like channeling and trying to be here at the same time. So let's accomplish that in a better way and just let the cards talk. So what do we need to know to wrap up Abundance Week? We got one. Oh, it's our old friend, Live Your Values. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm pulling for today. Live your values. Be yourself. Do what's important to you. If we had access because we have access to unconditional wealth, we have the opportunity to live for ourselves. And now that doesn't mean that we don't care about what happens to other people. That doesn't mean that we don't want to make a positive impact on the world. That just means that we have the opportunity, the privilege, the blessing, and really the opportunity to do what we came here to do, which is to live our preferences, live our values, live as ourselves. That's why we're on this planet. Wouldn't it be funny to think we came to this planet to be anything other than ourselves? Why, why are we big source beings trying to be anything but ourselves? Why are we concerned about how others will feel about us? Why are we trying to fit into something? Why not bring ourselves to the table as a gift? Why are we so concerned about others' opinions? About how others interpret us? Why not focus more within? I'll tell you a story here because we only have a one card pull today. And it's purple, so it's fitting. I've been working with Intimate Alien to align to Unlimited because she's really good at that. And maybe that's what she'll talk about today. Actually, it'll be really funny to see what she says today. I like to align to my truth, you know, to my highest good, to whatever it is that I've already created energetically, right? Your vortex. And the other day she showed me something even higher, like part the clouds. There's something up there, you know? So I've been lining to that. And today, she talked to me a little bit more about how to accomplish that alignment more. And it was to be fiercely inward focused, like, like blinders on about what anyone else thinks about me and like, what's in here? Where is the fulfillment, the joy that like, like the tingly spot in there? Like, what is it that's lighting me up right now? and to live there. And that's really the deeper meaning of this. It's not just live your values about like being a good person or, you know, like making your parents proud. It's really about like, what is this deep intrinsic part of you? And what does that want to create? Yesterday, I believe we had that creative introspection color. That's this too. It's like where those, the, the deep creative introspection comes to living it in the world is this. So it's that deeper, I know I keep saying deeper, but it's the more dense connection. It's the you embodied and living that out, being animated by your higher self as a human being. 
That's really powerful. In fact, today I saw a hawk carrying a pigeon who was very unhappy. It's like, go and get it. I mean, I don't even eat meat. So like, it's a weird thing for me to say, but like that hawk went and got what it wanted. And it did so unapologetically, unflinchingly. We can do that. And as long as we're living in alignment, we're not actually harming anyone, right? We're not having to go grab a pigeon from somebody's backyard. We are grabbing ourselves in the moment and living that out. So one card, very powerful message. I love how this wrapped up. I love how abundance is so tied to being true to ourselves. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's how much I love that. I'm making weird noises on the internet. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what we're going to do with this yet, but let's go over to the couch and feel, feel into this together. Hello, friend. I hope you're getting cozy. I hope you have your own nice cozy blanket and maybe a cloud couch and a nice puffy pillow. Lay down, sit down, relax. I don't know why, but today's message is hitting me sort of in a more emotional place. It's, it's definitely going to my heart. It's moving up, right? So it's like a root chakra. It's safe for you to be yourself. It's safe for you to be yourself. And then our sacral chakra, it's fun for you to be yourself. It's fun for you to be yourself. Solar plexus. It's actually quite powerful to be yourself. It feels empowering to be yourself. And then your heart is here. It feels so nourishing, so validating to be yourself. So homey. It's like my heart is making me a home here. You have a home on earth. Even if you've never felt comfortable on earth, you can be comfortable on earth being yourself. And then we have, it's joyful to be yourself. It's joyful to speak your truth. It's joyful to express yourself here on earth. And then we have our third eye, which is all about living in your vision, your vision of this world, your vision of reality, permission to live in your own reality, your own creation. And our crown, <laughs> you are backed up by source to be and do all of those things. You have a rock solid source connection to be and do and have all that you desire. And so it is. All right over to Intimate Alien. Oh, it's Friday. You all seem to love Friday so much. I don't care. It's all the same to me. And I just want you to know that whether it's Friday or Monday or Sunday, you are safe to be yourself. We've done a lot this week of aligning with the moment with your true values, with your true desires and preferences, and building that base for you to feel safe here, for you to live in your own reality. If you were to choose 
in your own reality, is it safe to be you? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's safe to be you. It's safe to be me. You are the center, the center, the star, the central being of your reality. You can ground there. You can expand there. What does your reality look like? What does it smell like? What does it have in it? Who is there with you? These are all exciting questions. When you feel safe in your own environment, you play more, you relax, you allow. That's what gets that abundance going. So play with that, play with it and let us know what is that like for you? We'd love to hear about it. So we send you into the weekend with lots, lots to feel, lots to play with. But not before we send you back to Rachel. Bye for now. We love you and we will see you on Monday. I have really enjoyed Abundance Week. I have so enjoyed today, most of all. I don't know if it's the momentum that got to me or just the culminating message that really hit home for me, but like, it has been an incredible week and I really thank you for being here. You are absolutely an amazing bunch of stars and I love that I get the opportunity to live as my real self in such a dynamic way doing this. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. I hope you will join me next week as well. But you know what time it is. Do you have your own tie? Do you have a way to be super serious right now with me? It's time for our super serious dance party we're going for it we're being weird we're being wacky we're living in our own reality that's for freaking sure and we're doing it with some fun we're doing it with style we're doing it with a smile because that is who we are so thank you everybody, I love you, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Monday for more Daily Alignment Show.